Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post a lot of beauty related content here on my channel and in this video we are going to be doing a, I say full face, nearly a full face of Primark makeup. We are currently doing a whole Primark week. Um, Primark week actually is from Monday to Friday because I've got so much content planned that Saturday and Sunday I have to do something else. So you're going to have two full faces, two lip swatches and my Primark collection all this week and if there's anything you see in that collection video that you would like me to test out in a future video then just let me know down below. So this is going to be the first full face that I do of Primark. Again, there's a couple of products missing, like my foundation's a little bit too dark because it was my summer colour. So I'm going to mix in a bit of my True Match there. I don't have concealer and powder, eye base, liquid liner, and that's it. So yeah, it's nearly a full face. So the first thing we're going to do is I have three palettes to choose from. Now because these two are more like pinky toned. I'm going to keep these for the second video. For the first video I'm going to use Purple Mist. I asked everyone in Alex's Patreon groups what they would like me to use in my Primark full face so most of these products come from that. There's a few products that I've just added in there. So this is what Purple Mist looks like up close. Stunning. Like I said I've got no eye base so I'm going to use my Beauty Bay eye base. I really don't want to swatch everything because I feel like that would just be so long. So the first thing I want to do is go in with the darkest shade here. Well, the darkest purple shade. Hmm. There is a black. And you know how I feel about blacks. I love them. You know what? Let's go in with the black. It's got like um, shimmer in there. What colour? Like pink shimmer. You can definitely see the black shimmer in it, but it looks quite nice. Don't understand why I'm always better at doing one eye bet more than the other. So the next thing I want to do is take this purple shade here and just blend it out. Hoping for the best because I really had to dig my brush in there to get this level of pigmentation. I know it's a bit weird me doing Primark week when Primark is obviously shut but I thought it'd give you guys some ideas like when they eventually do open. I just can't wait for them to open. I need socks. <laughs> There's a lot of fallout so just like dust off your brush I'm telling you well that's annoying there is not another like purple or pink to blend it out with there is like this paler lavender blue here so let's try that wow well, it's not a shade I would have gone for actually definitely brings more of the purple back into this look. It's a bit hit and miss. So this shade here is very like silky. Then we've got this purple shade here which is very dry. Another dry shade. This shade here. Yet yeah, this shade is nice and silky. So let's put that all over my lid. I'm using a P. Louise devoted to my base. I got this free with a base once, but I actually like it for shimmers. So I'm not gonna, I haven't wet the brush yet. Oh, nice, nice. Actually doesn't need wetting. If you wanted to intensify it, you could wet it, but it's actually all right on its own. That is one layer, so now I'm going to do a second layer. I want to go back in with this dark purple and just blend out the edges. I'm just putting a bit more gold over the top because the purple's made it a bit patchy. Okay, I think because I haven't played with Primark palettes in a very long time that I can definitely see the quality is very different to other palettes. 
um, like Beauty Bay that I've just played with. I really like that. So yeah, definitely that palette is just not as great as some of the other palettes I've played with. I am going to do this other eye off camera, do some liner, and then we're going to spray our face with the Prime and Infuse Watermelon Prep and Pr Perfect spray. I've got loads of these sprays now. I absolutely love them. So... I'm going to use that as a primer seeing as I haven't actually got one. did spray my face with this and I must admit it smells gorgeous, it's absolutely lovely and my face actually does feel tacky. So I got three Primark foundations all in my tan colour so I really don't know what shade, what not shade but alright so the lightest one I have is number 8 light beige which is a little bit lighter than these because these are both 9 sand. I think this foundation, yep yeah, it was £2.50. It's very thick. Squeeze a bit of my true match in there. It's still way too dark. Look at that. Because it's so thick, it's taken over the lighter shade. It smells really nice. It's like lightly perfumed. I forgot about that. Also, I'm looking slightly orange. Just add a bit more of this in here. You know what I love about this sponge is that it don't soak up a lot of product. What I hate is I need it to soak up product right now. Quickly gonna go in with Conceal and Define. Just powdered with Rimmel Stay Matte, now gonna bronze with Bronze Glow in Fearless, and this is a Primark product because you should have seen this in a couple of my videos by now actually. For blush, I'm going in with one of their matte blushes in Rosewood. did not realise how bright this was going to be. Then I'm taking the Corella de Vil highlight palette and I feel like taking this gold shade over here. I don't think I've actually used this palette yet, you know? For lips, I'm going to take this uncovered velvet lip crayon, which is just like a nice pink. You know what, I'm not loving the tone, so I'm gonna go in with Spice, much better shade, and this is the packaging. I've actually got a lip lacquer, and I don't, this was just from a lip kit. It's muting it down a bit, which I like. This is more like a mushroom shade. I'm not gonna go under my eyes, but I am gonna finish off my eyes with the Primark Brow Pomade, which you guys know I absolutely love. This is in the shade Brown. This was £2.50, it's so affordable. Um, I'm going to use, Force Affair, which was £2.50. Some sultry lashes. And then I think we're done. So stay tuned for the finished look. Guys, this is the finished look. I am totally, totally impressed. I just want to show you something. I don't know how much this is going to focus, but can you see how thin that lash band is? It is proper thin. These are very, very... Okay, they're called sultry, but they're very natural lashes. I really like them. Foundation was very thick. It had a light perfume to it, but nothing that wasn't disgusting. It was a nice light perfume. Um, I don't think there was actually any point in using that foundation, seeing as I had to really lighten it up. But the bronzer was nice. The palette was... Mm, not that great, I must admit. Really wasn't. Mascara, I forgot to show you the wand. The wand is exactly what I love in a wand, very thin, thin bristles, I literally can get right under the root of my lashes, so I bloody love that. Highlight, I just love it, look at that, I absolutely love it, and I thank god I've used it. The blush was very, very pink, so you need to dust a lot off, and I didn't do that, and usually I do, I usually dust on my hand, and I didn't. The lip lacquer is a very thin gloss, like your lips don't feel like you've got something on them which is weird it's a really nice formula i got it in like a little set once so 
I like this mushroom shade, it's really nice. I had to go in with a bit more of this to really hydrate my skin because my skin was feeling a little bit dry. It has been lately, nothing to do with the products. Um, and I think that's it, really. The lip liner was nice, the lipstick was nice, I, the bronzer's nice, like there's nothing. The only thing that I wasn't too, too happy with was like I said, the eyeshadow palette. It just wasn't as, I don't know, like, they could have done better purple shades in there. I feel like there's literally two, three matte purples, but one of them's like a lavender blue, and the eye look turns out a little bit blue than it did purple. Um, but other than that, the blush is nice. Yeah, I like everything. So this is my first full face of Primark. Tell me what did you think? What did you think when I was applying it? Is there anything you feel like didn't look too grey? Um, let me know. And I did love, I love my brow pomade. I actually do. I've made a big dent in that pomade. I love it. So I hope you guys are enjoying Primark week and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.